Hello all. So from last two tutorials, we are using this different data sets, but we haven't actually used the table department. We were working only on the employee table. This tutorial, we are going to introduce a subquery and will essentially utilize the information from both the tables. So let's get started with it. First question: How many employees work in department number ten? We have already done this type of question, so answer will be. Select count of star from EMP where DPTNO is equal to department number is ten. Okay, so there are two employees that work in department number ten. We'll go for the next question. How many employees work in Mumbai? So, Mumbai, for Mumbai, the department number is ten. So, this question is essentially the same as the previous one. But in previous question, we were given with that how many employees work in department number ten. So, the query was fair enough, very simple. But this time, we want to introduce. First, we need to find what is the department number for location Mumbai, and then. For that department, how many employees are working? So, first, if we see, select LOC, sorry, DPT NO from DPT, where LOC is equals to Mumbai. Sorry, it's where care. So, okay. So yes. So what we need to actually do in this question is that we need to first figure out the department number from the provided location, and then that department number, that is the answer of this query, should be, uh, that is department number ten, should be included in a where clause of the previous query, that is for department number ten. So. Instead of ten over here, what we can do is we can specify this entire query. So the question is still same. So we need to get the count of employees who work in Mumbai. So inner query. will first calculate the department number for location mumbai and then for that department number the outer query will get the total number of count so this is a simple example of sub query yes we get the same result okay so we'll go for the next question in which department name not number does employee aaa work so what we need to find What is the department name for employee AAA? So now, if we see over here in EMP table for employee AAA, the department number is ten, and the department number ten that belongs to sales department. So our query result should give the answer as sales. So sub query will include one inner query and one outer query. Outer query will be something. Uh, which result will be displayed to the user, and inner query will be used only for a conditional purpose the result of this query will not be shown to the user so this time around i need to display information from department table so the query will be select d name from dept where department number is equals to we know over here is the value is 10 but we can't substitute directly 10 what we need to get is the department number of employee aaa so this part will be again replaced by a sub query select dptno from dpt where sorry uh from emp where e name is equals to A A A.
Okay, so we get the answer properly. Next question. What is the average salary of employee in HR department? So the query will be somewhat related to this answer only. We need to get the average salary. So instead of count star, we'll have AVG of cell from employee for employee who work in HR department so the employee who work in HR department for them the department number is 20 and the average salary I guess should be 12,500 so where department number and in place of place of condition on location we have D name is equals to HR okay so for these questions we have done these three answers and we have executed them properly now i want to make a statement all these answers are wrong okay i want you to pause a video for a second and just think why this query can be wrong because we have executed but still they are wrong okay so we'll start discussing it now if we discuss this question that we wanted that how many employees work in Mumbai so we got the department number for the employee who work in Mumbai we got department number as 10 we'll do one thing we will just update one record update DPT set LOC is equals to Mumbai where DPT NO is equals to 20 So what I have done over here is department number 20 will also now have a location of Mumbai. So now this time around when we execute this query the department number that will be returned will be a more than one value. Because when we say location is equal to Mumbai actual scenario there need not be the case that there can be only one department in one city. In one location we can have multiple departments. So this time this query will give me a wrong answer because a single row subquery returns more than one row. So whenever we are not sure about whether the inner query or the subquery will return more than one record or not, instead of using equal to clause, equal to operator, what we need to use is in. Yes, for this the count is 4 now because in Mumbai there are 10 and 20. So for 10 and 20, there are total 4 employees present. Similarly, for all other questions, we have to specify in. So generally in subquery, we specify equal to operator only when we are 100% sure that the inner query will always return one record. If not, then what we specify is a in operator instead of equal to. Okay. Uh, before ending this tutorial, I want you to try out these two questions. That is question number 5 and 6. And if you have any queries or any doubts regarding these two questions, then you can inbox in the comment section of this video.